Hello, this short lecture will talk about literary perspectives or literary theory. Um, so we're going to talk about a concept called literary theory and how it can help us analyze literature in richer and deeper ways. The first thing we want to know about is what exactly is literary or critical theory and what do we mean also by critical perspective? So essentially, the terms literary theory and critical theory refer to the same fields of study. They both essentially deal with looking at literature beyond just the basic, what's the plot or what's the theme or who are the characters or the settings. Essentially, it gives us um, a lens, almost like when you put on a pair of glasses, it changes the way you see things. So if you put on a pair of dark glasses, you see things through a dark lens. If you look at um, things through pink lenses, you see things very pink. Um, it's just a way of criticizing or analyzing literature, and it is a way that you bring in your own perspective to the literature that you read. So how did they develop? Um, basically, we know that different people will experience the same event differently, um, and that different people will approach literary texts differently. Um, so for example, um, let's say someone says a joke in class. Um, some people might be really offended by that joke and others might find it comic and it all depends on the background that we come from. So um, essentially they emerge literary theories as ways to explain different people's views and responses to literature. Um, there isn't just one best way um, literary theory attempts to find value in all perspectives based on all the different things that you can do. Um, so what are some of the benefits? Um, well, first, one of the views is likely to affirm your own perspective, so it can help you understand your own opinions and your own political beliefs or your own way of seeing the world all the better. But also, it's so beneficial to see the world in a way that's different from yours, um, not just to disagree with it, but to understand it so that you can help understand other people, but also so that you can understand um, your own views. Um, and then understanding um, a different view can help you understand the author's work and have a better appreciation for the riches of it. So I have a picture here of an old woman or a young woman, depending on the way you look on it. And that's exactly what we're doing when we're looking at literature through multiple literary theories. Um, essentially, if we think about we have two pairs of glasses, a green and a yellow pair of glasses. So the lenses are green or the lenses are yellow. Um, essentially, when you are looking at a piece of literature, you're going to look at it like you're looking at it through multiple pairs of glasses. Um, so let's say I'm looking at the same painting with green lenses on, the painting will look one way. And if I put on yellow lenses, the painting will look like another way. So the same way, if I look at a piece of literature through these different theories. Um, I might see it one way, but then I can look at it through another way. Um, essentially, what does it not involve? Um, it does not mean that you have to agree with any perspectives of the study. So for example, if we look at a perspective that has one political leaning or another, it doesn't mean that you have to agree with it. It just means that you're looking at it from that point of view. Um, and so in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of these other uh, literary theories in more uh, specifics. Thank you.